This tutorial shows you how to perform a Bayesian coalescent-based phylogenetic analysis on a large SNP dataset using BEAST and affiliated programs. SNP, S-N-P, stands for Single Nucleotide Polymorphisms. This means there should be no invariant loci in your data because they will be ignored. SNP datasets could be generated from whole genome sequencing, or by reduced representation genome-wide sequencing approaches like RADSEQ, which stands for Restriction Site Associated DNA Sequencing. The important thing to appreciate is that very large datasets with thousands of SNP loci like this one need to be run differently, especially because of the presumed lack of invariant loci. This is why you cannot just run this analysis in an easier to use program like Mr. Bayes. I already have an extensive tutorial for this purpose designed for Windows machines. The purpose here is to adapt that tutorial for Linux. This tutorial assumes you are using Ubuntu Linux version 20.04 as your operating system. If you do not have Linux, you can emulate it on your Windows or Mac computer for free. See the show notes for details. In fact, I am emulating Linux right now on my Mac computer using VirtualBox. I have a VirtualBox virtual machine pre-configured with the software I will show you today, as well as other population genetics and ecological niche modeling software. See the show notes below for step-by-step -step instructions to download and hook up this virtual machine within your Windows or Mac computer, but be careful. VirtualBox version 6.1 will not work with Linux on a Mac. You will need to download VirtualBox version 6.0 instead. See the link in the show notes. This tutorial assumes you already have the programs Beast and FigTree installed. See the show notes for details, or simply use the pre-configured virtual machine that I described earlier. Let's get started. Open up a web browser and navigate to my website, joshbanta.com. Click on Tutorials. Scroll down until you come to where it says how to perform a Bayesian coalescence-based phylogenetic analysis on a large SNP dataset. First, click on how to perform, and this pulls up a document-based tutorial. You don't need to sign in. You do not need a Dropbox account. Click the download button to download the document and select direct download. When completed, as indicated at the bottom of your screen, hit the back button. And return back to where we were. How to perform a Bayesian coalescence-based phylogenetic analysis on a large SNP dataset. This time, click on Files Needed for Tutorial. Wait for the page to finish loading. And select Direct Download. When finished, as indicated, you may close the browser window. We need to put a folder on the desktop where we're going to unzip some files. If you're on a Windows-based mouse, right-click. If you're on a Mac laptop, push down with two fingers on the trackpad, and then select New Folder. We're going to name the new folder BC SNP Philo. B-C-S-N-P-P-H-Y-L-O. There's no L at the end there. That's just the cursor. Click Create. Next, open up File Explorer, which is pinned to the favorites or which you can find by searching below. Navigate to the Downloads folder. Double click on the zip file that we downloaded, bcsnipphilo.zip. This opens up the, the zip file using an archive management software. The whole entire folder has been in a compressed archived format, and we're able to peek inside of that archived folder but we need to uncompress the files within that archived folder. 
So while keeping the Archive Manager open, come back to your File Explorer and navigate to your desktop. Double-click on the new folder we created, BC SNP Philo. Now keep the File Explorer open, come back to the Archive Manager. Then we're just going to take the files from within the archive and we're going to drag them into the BC SNP Philo folder on our desktop. We have now uncompressed the files and put them on our desktop so that they are ready to use. So you can go ahead and close the Archive Manager window as I did. But now we need to get the written document version of the tutorial out of our Downloads folder and put it onto our desktop. To do that, click on the Downloads folder within your File Explorer window. And here's the file, How to Do a Bayesian Coalescence Phylogenetic Analysis. Take that file, drag it to the desktop. Now click on the Desktop folder in the File Explorer window. And there's the file, we put it on our desktop. But to be tidy, let's go ahead and put it in the BC SNP Philo folder on our desktop. So take that file and go ahead and drag it into that BC SNP Philo folder. Next, we need to open up a program that's associated with Beast. It's made by the same people. It's a part of the same software that you download. We have to open up this, this helper program called Beauty. Beauty is the program that we will use to describe the format of our data to Beast. So you can see what they did there, Beauty and the Beast. Okay, to open up Beauty, go ahead and open up a terminal window, which I have pinned to my favorites or which you can find by searching below and we're going to move our terminal window over here to the side. In the File Explorer window, we're going to navigate to our home folder, and if you're using my virtual machine, then the Beast files are in this directory off of the home directory called bin. So double-click on that. And then if you're using my virtual machine, you'll double-click Beast. Next, come back to the terminal window. Type cd space and now there's the bin folder within the beast folder that's within the bin folder of our home directory. So first you go to the bin folder within the home directory, you double click on that, then you double click on beast which is within the bin folder. And now there's this bin folder within the beast folder. So we've got cd space, we're going to drag this folder into the terminal window to copy the path. See how the word bin appears there twice? hit enter. In this folder is the program called Beauty. It's spelled a little differently than you're expecting it. To run it, put type dot forward slash B-E-A-U-T-I. No spaces. We now have the program Beauty loaded. Click not now. We're not going to install updates while we're doing this tutorial. Now, come back to your File Explorer window and navigate back to your desktop. Double click on BC SNP Philo. Now, I'm going to have you follow along with the document version of this tutorial that was designed for Windows. So, you're going to double click on how to do a Bayesian coalescence phylogenetic analysis. And you'll keep this open so you can follow along. I've already gotten you to step four, not page four, but step four. So if you look through this tutorial, you'll find that step four begins on page 28. And so you can carry on from, from step four. Now, do understand that the tutorial is going to tell you to close Beauty and reopen it again. You're going to need to reopen Beauty again the same way that you, re, that you opened Beauty, the way that I just showed you on here, where you had a file explorer open and you had the terminal window open and you did cd space and you dragged over that path and you hit enter and then you hit dot forward slash b-e-a-u-t-i. You're going to need to do that again. You'll, you'll see as you're going along uh, in the tutorial that you'll need to close beauty and, and reopen it. So just be aware of those modifications that I showed you for uh, reopening beauty on Linux. One other thing I wanted to show you, and this will be similar throughout the rest of this tutorial, Let's say that I'm in here and I'm adding an alignment and I have to find it. Well, right now I'm in the right directory, but let's say that you, you weren't in the right directory. 
how would you navigate to the right directory? You don't have a little icon on the side that says desktop. And we're not, uh, it, it's not going to be as obvious. So for that, what you can do is you can go here to the drop down menu and you can look for the home directory or you can look for the home directory and then our username for this, uh, for this machine, which is sample. So we'll go here to the home directory. We'll click on sample. And now we can click on desktop. And now we can find the, fo the folder that we made on the desktop, BC snip philo, double click on it. And there, and you can scroll this way and that to see the name of the file. And, I, and you can make this window bigger so you can see the full name of the file. And that's how you can go and find the file that you need and you can change the names. And that's how you can make sure that you're saving. If It would be a similar process to this if instead of opening a file, you were saving a file by using this and the, and the windows on the side. Uh, that's how you could ensure that you're in the BC SNP Philo folder that is on your desktop for finding the files that you need and for saving the files that you need. But let's get back to the tutorial now. Go ahead and follow this document for step four, step five. Follow it all the way through and including step 12. So do step four, step five, etc., all the way through step 12. Do step 12. Uh, and then uh, when you come to page 86 of the document, you're going to come to step 13 where you're going to open up this other program, Beast. And I'm going to show you now how to do that on a Linux machine. So we're going to come back here to File Explorer and have that open come here to the terminal window and we'll have that open as well. Navigate in File Explorer back to the home directory, back to the bin directory, back to the beast directory, and then with keep that highlighted because we're going to come back to it. Within the terminal type CD space and drag this bin. Now notice this is the bin folder within the beast folder within the bin folder. So we're going to take that bin folder, drag it into terminal so we get the path, and we're going to hit enter. And the beauty, and the beast program rather, is also in this bin directory. And to access it, we're going to type dot forward slash B-E-A-S-T and hit enter. And that goes ahead and opens up beast. The Linux version of beast is a little bit different. So what I need you to do next is to skip ahead to page 93 in the document version of the tutorial and I need you to do step the steps listed on page or the, the parts of the step listed on page 93, 94, 95, and 96. After you're done with that, I need you to skip ahead to page 99 and from page 99 you can continue on all the way through and including step number 18. So do all the steps, including step number 18. After that, you're going to come to a new section in the document version of the tutorial, which I will show you. That's on page 105 of the document tutorial. This is the part after we've, we've run Beast using the Snap template, and now we're ready to visualize the phylogeny that we got as our results. The step numbers restart. You'll notice that we're on page 105, but we're back at step number one because this is the step number one for now. We have the results. We're going to be visualizing the results. But actually, you're going to be skipping ahead, not to page 105 with step one. You're going to be skipping ahead to page 109. But to get you to this step at page 109, I need to make some modifications for Linux, which I need to show you. The first thing we have to do is open up a terminal window. We also need to open up File Explorer. We need to navigate back to our home directory and then within the home directory, bin, beast, and then the bin folder within the beast folder within the beast folder. Have that highlighted and ready to go. Come back to our terminal window, type cd space, drag in that bin folder again. and hit enter. And in here, there is a file called tree annotator, and that's the file that we need to open. That It's a program that we need to open. To do that, we're going to type dot forward slash tree annotator. Pay careful attention to the spelling. OK, 
Okay, and this gets to page 109 of the tutorial. And you can continue on in the document tutorial from page 109 all the way through page 130. Then when you get to page 131, I will show you how to open up Figtree on Linux. For that, we'll again open up a terminal window and we'll again open up File Explorer. We'll again go navigate to our home directory. We'll double click on the bin directory. We'll type in in our terminal window cd space. And then we're going to go here to this folder fig tree. We're going to copy it over so we have the path and we're going to hit enter. Now we simply type in fig tree, all lowercase. And that will get you through the rest of the tutorial. At the end of the document tutorial, you will have made an image file called snap.jpg. I ask that at the end of this tutorial, you find that image file snap.jpg, double click on it to open it so that you can verify that the image file was produced.